ما بتردش ليه؟ عمالين نكلمك، قلقنا عليك قوي. اصل احنا سمعنا ان فين في برف رفح واربعه مجندين ماتوا. كنت اروح حتى لو هو الغلط رجه من من ساسه لراسه كنت اروح له وارجعه لحد ما بقت عادي. نتخانق يزعل يلم حاجته ويطفش اروح وارجعه. <تصفيق> amplify women's voices and their histories, but also with a theatrical goal, to harness the power of personal story and use it to reveal what is universal on stage. <laughs> The Motherline Story Project started two years ago. It was inspired by my mother and my grandmother. Um, and this old pagan concept uh, that speaks to the fact that any woman, whether or not she has children, um, has the ability to. And so she is a womb. And when she's inside her mother, she is a womb within a womb. So a vessel within a vessel. Um, and so you catch things. And so that connection between mothers, mothers to daughters, is very open and very available. Um, and then as a storyteller that spoke to me, These stories, they all have some small thing that somebody else can relate to. And that's something that's very special about this project and very special about the connection of the mother line, that it can be tapped into, uh, whether you're from the same country or not, whether you speak the same language mm -hmm. or not. We want to be bringing this all over the world. Uh, this hopefully is just the first stop of many because it, because it is unifying. This is our first international venture, and we were so happy to come to the mother of the world, Egypt, um, Cairo specifically. Um, now, more than ever, because Egypt is a full of stories and they are, they are begging to be heard, but... Wherever this workshop happens, we go to the people and we speak to them and each woman tells a story from her mom or her grandmother. So each actress, performer, storyteller in this situation is telling her own story. These are not stories imported or changed. These are their own stories and their own mothers. We get to see their, the images of their moms or grandmothers at the beginning of the performance, and then we hear the story, and we're not sure if it's her mom or her, her grandmother, but this is somebody in her genes, in her uh, DNA. <laughs> We need a space for women to tell their stories and we're very glad to be able to create this safe space for women to tell their stories. Men are telling their stories everywhere else. Uh -huh. We know a mission is next. Again, Irmia, I'm going to be a good 